All right, we're live. Hello, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. So, let's see. A couple of people turned up, and I haven't even started the stream yet. Speed, Just Ice, Double A, Aditya, Just Ice, and DNF. Well, thanks, guys. Really do appreciate it. Even though I hadn't even started yet, but hey, how's ever? Hey, DGB. How you doing, man? So, right. Here's the plan. We're finishing this. So this is probably going to be a long stream. I was going to do this mission last night, but I got a glitch and I couldn't do it. So hopefully everything goes well. So sit back, enjoy the show, grab yourself a beer, popcorn, whatever. This is probably going to be a long one. Let's just hope things work. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. But I hope everyone's having a good Friday. We'll have to. Some of my best men are held in Agenda's jail. They will be a great help to us. Yeah, you all do that while I loot. Okay, go to the jail. The old trusty shotgun out. This is probably going to be one hell. Nope. Oh, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, not a good idea. Catlin, I don't want the Catlin. Give me the scope field. Thank you very much. What the hell was he shooting you with? Jesus! Some fine looting going on here. But how's everyone in the chat doing today? Y'all good? On this Friday? Uh, oh, Jesus. Senor, let us free. Oh, of course we I'll set you, you free. Uh oh, gotta shoot the locks. Okay. Where the frick are the locks? God damn it, it's so dark. One. Let's go, my friends. Reyes is getting ready to attack Linde's mansion. Uh, I can't see it. Get out of the way! And there you're all free. Hey, Miss Kiwi Gaming! God, how you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for the like, I really do appreciate that. I'm gonna trust your shotgun back out. There he goes! Oh, come on, save some for me, guys. Hey, Belfast, how you doing? Oh, Jesus. Okay, not exactly the smartest idea. Well, welcome, guys. How's everyone doing? Oh, Jesus. Got him. Nice. Hey, Kiwi. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Oh, God. There's another mini gunner up there. Got him. Oh shit, I missed him. <laughs> I'll try not to. I'll try not to die. How did I miss that shot? Got him. No, no, no. No minigun for you. Or you, for that matter. Sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. I yeah, wish I could say the same. Like, I mean, it's not raining like here at the moment, but it's just, it's Excuse cold me, as hell. I ain't getting fresh. 
And honestly, like, the cold doesn't really, like, bother me that much. Shut up! Let me loot first. Alright, alright, camera did something. Thank you. Well, it's time for the regular rule on this stream. Once a stream, we're on the minigun. Take a drink while I'm waiting. Us, this is just a hostile takeover. We're just taking over your uh, your fort. Don't mind us. Ooh, headshot! Nice, nice, nice. Hey, Kadigan, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well, sir. Oops. I shot my own guy. Oh, oh well. Okay, two more bodies. Sorry about this, partner. Well, actually, while I'm at it, and while you are in the chat... Hopefully that works. And it does. Sweet. Okay, I'm coming. I'm doing good, Cadigan. For once on a Friday, I'm actually doing all right. Well, Friday's always a good day for me. Reyes, what the hell's your problem? Uh oh, right back on the minigun. Quick, quick, quick! Or well, the Gatling gun, as they call it. But I prefer to call it the minigun. Jesus, I might have to adjust the the light a bit. I can't shit right now. Come on, boys! I got plenty for everybody! Plenty of bullets! <laughs> Aww, I'm kind of enjoying myself there. But yeah, Miss Kiwi, I know we haven't, like, seen... We haven't really, like, spoken in a while, but... Hey, check it out! Got a new setup! Finally. So no more... The PlayStation days. Well, always be grateful for what you have. I know everyone started off on the PlayStation. Come on, we can still get to my stagecoach. Go then, I'll cover you. It's a Jane and Williamson. Come on, John. Oh, Bill, come for your boy. Hey, right, come back here. Vámonos, darte prisa, cabrón. Come on, John. Let's get to the horses. I thought you was tough. Stand in fight. Okay, I gotta switch guns. Come on, over, John. Good. Oh, wait. Where are the horses? Come here, horse. No time for looting. Come on, Reyes, hurry up. And for once, we actually agree on something. Let's go! The stream looks great. Oh, thank you. It's not exactly... Well, I'm still kind of new when it comes to, like... Streaming like on a PC, but so far I'm doing okay. Okay. Going the wrong way. Hey, Ikari, how you doing, brother? Good to see you again. Nobody got for you. 
Got him, I think. Forgot how good the first Red Dead one was. It's so good, man. Still in my top five. I'm coming out! Don't shoot! Here, take Williamson. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was, we... Actually, I'm going for it. Dutch wanted you dead. And now you're dead. We all... And that's it! Allende is dead! Mexico is mine! Uh, I have never played any other Red Dead games besides Red Dead 2. Uh, Miss Kiwi, my... A bit of advice I actually would give you. If you ever, ever get a chance to play Red Dead 1, do it. You will not be disappointed. And it is all thanks to you, John. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave. And she will be missed. <laughs> who was she again? Your peasant girl idiot. wife to be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Louisa Laura, Day, you baby. idiot. Louisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull it was, amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's oh, get back no. to politics. Oh, politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the capital. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Come on. I guess that's it for Mexico, then. Must say, it was quite an experience. Ray as classy as ever. Oh, yeah. Great guy. Funny guy, you know. Great guy to be around. Great night. Great guy to, uh, you know, have a couple of uh, beers with. Okay, so... Ah, we can finally do this now. Okay, so we're going to do that real quick, and then we're getting the fuck out of Mexico. Thank you guys all for being here. Really do appreciate it. Right. Oh, Jesus. Nope, not helping you. Sorry. I don't care if you stole your horse. Now you can keep the horse, buddy. No side missions. No, none of that stuff. We are just basically going to try and finish this game today. Oh, no. Anyways. The horse thief got away. That sucks. Mexicans, great bunch of lads, I know, right? Well, they actually are, but in this game, you know, some are good, some are yeah. Okay, so we did this, well, we did one half of, one half of this mission, like, yesterday, but we never got a chance to finish it, so we're finishing it today. God damn it. If we ever get there, that is. So probably like after I finish this let's play, uh, quick spoiler for everyone, my next next play is going to be Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now I know probably some people are probably thinking that's a little outside the box. Literally I just really want to stream that game. Come on. So it'll be something like different on the channel and who knows it might be a good bit of fun. off the horse. Good boy. Ah, Mexico. Can't say I'll miss it. Well, there were good things about Mexico. I mean, we did meet R Landon Ricketts, which was brilliant. Everything else was kind of, eh. It was alright, I guess. Of 
spot in Mexico, all you ever hear is gunfire. Still never played a Pokemon game to this day, used to think it was stupid, but I'll have to try one someday. It's that old expression, Ikari, don't knock it till you try it. Looking forward to that one? Oh, it should be good, man. And I already have an idea on who my starter is going to be. Actually, now that I kind of think about it, I might turn my mic down just a tad. Oh, that's better. Landon is a bro. Landon is a legend. Freaking loved that character. Uzi, T-Bree, Slippery Nipples. Uzi, thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate that. I thought you were already subbed already, but... Yeah, that's all right. At least I know the notification works. Not the best notification, but... Yeah. It's generic. It's... You know, it is what it is. But it just lets people know when they uh, subscribe to the channel. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I think we're almost there. But here's a question for everyone that's in the chat right now. Who would your favorite character in Red Dead 1 be? Like, it doesn't have to be, like, the main character or, like, is it side or supporting characters? It doesn't really matter. Just let me know who your favorite characters are. Don't think the nunnery will ever be the same? No. Especially, like, after last weekend with that uh, particular shootout we had. I don't think they'll ever forgive us. Ah, uh, I like this place. Well, they don't really like us, to be honest. Hello. Good morning to you, my dear. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, ladies. I'm just going to adjust something real quick while this is going on. Excuse me, sister. Yes, sir. Can I help you? I was looking for a girl by the name of Eva, I think. Wanted to see if she was doing okay. Are you one of her special friends? No, I just helped her. Oh. She said she was coming in here. Oh, she came, and she went. A man came for her. Turned out, maybe he was her calling, uh -oh. after all. Okay. Thank you, sister. Oh, I think they said they were going to El Sepulcro. But who knows? She wasn't much of one for the truth. Oh, this can't be good. Uh, bye nuns. I guess we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> Tough question as far as NPCs goes. Probably Landon Ricketts, Marshall Johnson. Yeah, Marshall Johnson. Like, he was cool as hell. Uh, oh, so far. Oh, I don't like how this is going to end. And then probably after this, we're going to get the hell out of here and head to Blackwater. That's right. We're going back to America. America! Come on. Bro. Oh, this is it. I just ran over something. You dick. What are you doing, amigo? Nothing. Why'd you kill her? I didn't kill her. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Sure, I hit her, but... Why'd I... you kill her? And why are you digging her up? And what business is it of yours, huh? Oh. You still want to lay with her? Huh? You sold her. You let her go. 
No, no, no. A good whore never leaves, man. Do I get my money back now or after I've killed you? It's just a god dang whore, man. A god dang filthy whore. As you say, she was just a whore. Okay. Now come on. Oh, this prick's been asking for it. America! Fuck yeah! Oh, but Amy Ikari, it's time to waste this prick. And I'm not just gonna disarm him. I'm gonna shoot him in a perfect place. Right in the spots. If she was just a whore, why does Mario care so much about her? Probably be the closest thing. Probably be she was like the only woman that were coming within the arm's reach of him. That's what I think, anyway. And while I'm here, give my money back. Now, I would say rest in peace, but nah. Two shots in the balls, and then the rest of them were headshots. That's one way to deal with a scumbag. Come on, horse. Yeah. Okay. Well, Mexico, it's been real. But we are getting the fuck out of here. And apparently the game will let us. Great. We need to find a better spot. All right. Let me do this game was so touch sensitive about it. Yeah. Okay, can I use it here? Yay! Yes, we can. Fast travel. Travel to waypoint. Going back to America, folks. Right in the money bottom, exactly. Okay, so before we go and see Mr. Ross... Uh, there it is. I believe a change of attire is appropriate. Oh! Sorry, ma'am! Sorry about that! Um, okay. I'll be here, I guess. Whoops! Well, that happened. Come on, guys. Seriously? It was just one chest. Calm down. Uh, can I bribe you, sir? <laughs> and I lost 400 honor, but now yeah, well. It happens. That wasn't my intention. God damn it, ma'am, get out of the way. Okay, we need to change our attire real quick, but first, we shall run to the store. Okay, why is it every time I come into a store, people seem to fuck off? I'm not that ugly. Excuse me, who's talking shit about me over there? Fine, I'll just leave and come back. God, people are so sensitive. And I think what I'm... Okay. 
turn around and we'll go back. Let's go. Seriously, like every time I go into a store, they just seem to like walk away. I don't get it. Ooh, a train. Eh, later. Ooh, slow down. Hmm, poker. Eh, later. Okay, I'm gonna rent a room while I'm here. I got the money, so just fine. Yeah, I didn't start no civil war. I wouldn't be that type of a person. Oh, Jesus. Oh, free room. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna change outfits. I'm go I don't really have a. Uh, yes, the duster coat. Perfect. Now that we got that business out of the way, we can go and see Mr. Ross. Nice day, huh? Actually, before I do, give us a drink. Hey, old Farah, how you doing, man? Drop it a like. Thank you, man. Always appreciative. Hope you're feeling better, though, man. You see, one drink. Excuse me, tits. I always wore the duster coat whenever the game allowed me. Dude, I just love that coat. Like, long coats like that, I generally love. I, I'll even wear them in public. I don't care. Wouldn't bother me. Okay, here we go. See Mr. Ross? 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Yes, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all of your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down. And play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn. But now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlind is holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has 
shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford or Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Is that a threat? Back to you, sir. Hey, Max Ammo, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well today, my friend. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. Yay, a gun. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. Yeah, especially with me and me in control. 343. I, I have a patent for that, oh. sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. And so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross. Have him release this man. Why? Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man Hang who him. this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. No! Let him go. Hang the bastard. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. You know, he's hit him with the butt of my gun. 344. 345. Anything? Ooh, a vehicle. Excuse me. Head for the wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Ford. Why does that car look so ridiculous? It looks like just one of those cars like Isn't a kid would have to like the small little miniature toy things. Working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything more like so shite. Right. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a fool. You best Make watch me. your damn mouth. And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the fourth son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when we got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid, hey. but you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a bomber again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston, but we can. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Ford? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliché, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite I'd say dope. Snake Frazier would love this type of vehicle. By rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Hey, anything's possible. This is the future. I just Anything said that. Is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp here. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle. Of course you will. And you'll do as I say, Marston. 
Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Come on then, Marston. You're yeah, with me. yeah. Fuck you, Edgar. Okay, a company agent fart fart him. Ford him. Whatever. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Yeah, I hope you're aware of the consequences. My foot in your ass. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Always appreciate people being here today. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Well, Keep it's your always eyes the informant, open. isn't it? They are open. I don't see nothing. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lights. Yeah, and you're here, so you can fit in. There's someone up there. You go investigate. Oh, of I'll course you will. Here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just the brightness a bit. Yeah, man. Wish I could catch more of it. Probably this is going to be the last part. If things go well, that is. Alright, calm down. I'm coming. Shut up. Tell me what to do. Can I go up that way? No. Oh, definitely not that way. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Can't go that way. Look at me, Mr. Uh, sense of Direction. I get lost in a phone booth. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I was going the wrong way. I'm an idiot. All right, stop screaming. I'm coming. Uh, thanks, Max Ammo. Thanks, Just Ice. I appreciate that. Okay, can we go through here? And up this way, I think. Nope. Okay, so we have to go the long way, it seems. Don't worry, we'll get there. Eventually. Okay, through here. Thought that was a door. Ooh, nice room. Okay. Now we're on the right track. That way. Ah, here you are. Over here! I found him! Good God, that's our informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Of course it is. Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think you can walk! Why do I have to carry him? What the hell's uh -oh. Come on, we need to get him to safety. Get him! Oh, Stay with me. I've seen tougher school girls. See you okay, this this gun is actually powerful, but at the same time, this thing will be broken as hell in Red Dead Online, and not to mention a lot of people would abuse it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Down the stairs. Hang on. Hang on there, Nastas. We'll get you to... We'll get you home. Of course they're everywhere. Where do you expect them to be? Dumbass. Wait, wait, wait. You. 
Don't take threats very well. Hey, Fordman, protect me. Shit, I'm on the wrong. Oh, Jesus, nearly fell. Yay, now we go we get to go back to Agent Douchebag. Oh man, watch where you're going. You damn prick. We have the high power pistol. Oh, it's nice. My advice definitely use it if you're playing Red Dead multiplayer. Like when you're doing death matches, the amount of kills you'll get from it. God's name is going on. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Why do I have to do all the heavy lifting? Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Yay, now we get to take the long, slow drive back. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? Racist. A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk, or social secretary, or some such. You shut your mouth! God, for government officials, they're very, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Very temperamental? I think that's the word. Oh god, I could walk faster than this piece of shit. Come on! God, even my mother could walk faster than this, and she's turning 75 next month. Come on, not now! What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. <coughs> well, fix it, you Excuse fool! Me. We need to get this man to a doctor! Of course, sir. Let's uh -oh. touch his men! Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine! Yeah, for him. Fix the engine. Stay with me. Okay, when did I get a bolt action rifle? Huh, interesting. Come on, Fordham, fix the damn engine! God damn it! Free Oh shit, there's a ton of them. Pretty close. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. And another alive. slow I'm to drive. See why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. A bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little Oh yeah, sure. Finesse. Blame everyone else I for your fuck I was trying to ups. escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, that still caught us. I can walk faster than That's what I said. Crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderland? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No. Oh, literally, he said enough. We'll find Vanderland soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? 
Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come then. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation, and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins, and can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. Ah, McDougal. I remember him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. But you could, you just don't want to. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marcus. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day. He's a good man. Day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. Mm. Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderlins. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. So do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, excuse me, sir. Hey, I'm a famed gunslinger. Woo! Uh, you are famous. From now on, you no longer get in trouble for stealing horses. I was fat Chinese gaming when you need them. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and save real quick because I can't do any missions at the moment. <laughs> Gotta say, the running animation is kind of hilarious. And we can go through that way. I know there's poker going on here. I do that, like, off-stream. No, because every time I play Blackjack, I always end up getting cheated. And it's not fair. Okay, let's save the game. So hopefully that will um, speed up time a bit. believe it has so we can get the next mission underway excuse me sir Not so fast, partner. Well, at least I think we can hopefully we can uh, apparently we can't oh well 7 a.m. and uh, Paul Fox thanks for the sub man thank you very much Always greatly appreciated. Okay, so we have till 5 a.m. So that's probably not too long. So I'm going to take a quick break real quick. Uh, just to go to the bathroom and uh, get myself a drink real quick. But I appreciate you all being here. And if you're enjoying the stream, leave a like. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. So now, I believe... We still can't do this yet. Oh, it's almost 7 a.m., so... Well, there is a side mission here we can do. Nope. No, actually, we will. Actually, we got time. What's your problem? Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. Because honesty is, in my business, the worst policy. I work for a well-respected governor named Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. Yay. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. Oh yeah, really cleans my conscience. All right, Max Ammo. Appreciate you being here, man. And you have a uh, fun day at work. Well, try to anyway. Try and have. I know, like a lot of people, like don't want to work, but eh, you know, what are you gonna do? Actually, it's right here. But I can't go in. Let me in! Please. Any way I can get in here? Must be some way I can get in. And I enter, please. Ready, please? Come back between 7 a.m. and 6. Well, it's almost 7 a.m. So I guess we'll just uh, wait a spell. Hey, Gerald, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you, along with everyone else. Oh god, I feel like I'm playing Shinmu all over again. Just waiting. John, why'd you look so paranoid? Why does my horse like he's just about to enter the bank and make a withdrawal? That would actually be hilarious. Nope, still won't let me. Oh, come on, it's almost like 7 a.m. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, we're in. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying backstabbing bastard. I'd like to see him horse whipped. Horse whipped. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute uh, <laughs> uh, as I was saying uh, before I was so rudely interrupted Nate Johns is a fine fine man and an even better governor and I consider it an honor to call him my friend <laughs> wise man Politics, am I right? Uh, we're not gonna get into that. Of course, I made my point. Oh. Sorry, ma'am. My sincerest apologies. Okay, give me my reward, asshole. How much you paying me for this? Twenty-one bucks. Are you kidding me? I would have asked for at least a hundred. Oh, some people are so cheap, I swear to God. Alright, let's get this mission underway. 21 bucks. Jeez. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. 
An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. Hey, Paul Fox, you are a funny dude. You definitely earned that sub. Thank you so much, man. I, I don't like try to be funny. It's just I'm just myself, really. So when people like come in and just say like you're funny because I'm just basically just talking shit. I love comments like that. But welcome to the channel, man. You're definitely welcome here. And I hope you're doing well. Okay. That door is the only way in and out of the building, so cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot yeah, till yeah, I give yeah. you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. You do realize I'm Guy Crossfield, right? Nobody shoots until well, What if I, I want to shoot now? Don't shoot! That man is a hostage! The bastard's killed! Overcome. Oh, that happened. You can't hide. Coming out the front door! Gun them down! Nice. This is all the words. Sorry guys, rip chat for a sec. There's a few of them in there by the Oh, I see you. Hey, where do you think you're going? Come on, pop your head. Pop your head. Okay, you survive that. Interesting. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there's a good few of them now. Got you. Hey, where do you think you're going? A sniping god, I am not. At least we took care of him. Head into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. There's always innocent people. We can take proceeds to get shot ten seconds later, probably. Come on, let's get in there. Let's do it. Sorry, mister. I got nothing but respect for the law. Marston, shoot the door! I am shooting the door. Is that the best you can do? Hurry! Get it! I know. This. Let's go! Watch out for Austin! Okay. Help me! Help me! Ah, oh, you're welcome, Paul. You're very welcome, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! Help me! I won't. I promise. Scout's honor. I ain't gonna tell you again. That's the What do you think you're playing at? Okay, I think we're okay. Through the door. Through the door, John. Jeez. Oh, shit. No, please. All right. I missed. Bullshit. Didn't miss that time. Get out of here. Head to the town hall. Come on, let's check out upstairs. Get the shotgun back out. Look for Dutch upstairs. Hello. I think they're behind this door. I think they're behind this door. Probably are. Oh, hi, Dutch. Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, he must be what? 
15, 16, doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Casualty of war. That's the way I see it. Let's get after him. I don't see him. Okay, what why is that guy's voice hilarious all this of a sudden? Is your fault, Marston. You got a gun too, Sheriff. Yeah, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Mount up. Went this okay, way. on the horse. Yeah, Abraham. Yeah. Did you just call this horse Abraham? Okay, fair enough. But actually, like, Paul Fox, uh, seen to saw you're new to the channel, tell me, where are you from in the world? I always, like, love, like, when new subscribers come in. I'm always interested to see where they're from in the world. That's exactly what I'm doing. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? He kinda reminds me of you. The violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Hey, Diana, how you doing? Who the hell are you? Hope you're doing well. Anyway? Lawmen or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston. But I have the authority over both. They weirded me? Yeah. I know, I've always been interested to see where people are from in the world. I've always kind of found it a bit interesting, but eh. If it's weird, then I guess I'm weird. Oh, Jesus! I got my gun. Not particularly. Oh, you're from Manchester, and yeah, you're right, I'm Irish. You actually guessed right, sir. Oh, God damn it, I'm out of, uh, fish ammo. Oh well. Where are you going? Okay, there is a ton of you up here. Oh, 
Yep, screw this. I'm going shoddy. Actually, I need a better shotgun now that I think about it. Oh, duck, 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 duck. That was close. Woo! Almost died there. Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably Yay, get a medal. Yay, medal. I know I shall. What are you doing, Diana? I hope you're doing well. You mean after all this, I'm going to get myself a medal? Yay! I always wanted a medal. I need more than you now. Let's loot the bodies before we uh, get the... Freak out of here. And now we got some McDougal missions to do. Fun times. Come back here, you stupid horse. Come on. Wolves. Come on, me. Good, just happy it's Friday. Could use some gaming today. Yeah. Usually, like, weekends are usually, like, good times to uh, play a game. Doesn't really matter what it is. If it's on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Nintendo Switch, whatever. It's always a good time to play some video games. Okay, now we're going to see this absolute uh, lunatic known as uh, McDoodle. Gaming and some drinks. Ooh, what you drinking? If it's uh, anything, uh, you know, with an alcohol kind of taste, you know, I'm, I'm listening. All right, calm down, guys. Calm down. All right, now we're back in Blackwater. Actually, while I'm here, I am going to buy some ammunition. Because I get the feeling we gonna need it. Oh, slow, 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 slow. Whoa there. Yeah, I get more time on the weekend to play for sure. Mm. Oh, you actually didn't walk out on me this time. Thanks. This is a God-fearing store for God-fearing people. You want something else? Vodka. <laughs> Not really a uh, vodka person. Got my reasons. There you go. Okay. Uh, if we don't have it, frankly, you don't need it. Cheers. Thanks. Get your Bucky Beaver smile. Okay, let's go to the ammunition store. No rain today. Wonder what's wrong. Get some memos. Hey, cue ball. I mean, sir. Ooh, the Mauser pistol. Eh, I'm not buying that. I usually like just don't like buy weapons in this game. If I just see them like as a uh, as like a pickup, I'll take them. Up real quick, and that should do it. Five thousand dollars for an explosive rifle. No thanks. I ain't paying that much. Oh really? All right. Sure. 
I got some time to kill you. Okay, boy. Okay. Let's go. You want to draw? We'll draw. Challenging me to a duel. You nuts. Don't challenge me again. Damn. Jesus. I'll be dead. Yeah, you better run. Run, boy. Don't challenge me to a duel again. Next time it won't be just your arm it won't be just your arm, it'll be your head. Okay. Now we'll go see McDougal. At home with Dutch. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Oh, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, uh, pure. Uh, uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin rabbit? Why are you talking like that? I know. We cannot see the stars, but still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to racist metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. A savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Mm, Let's go. The balls. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. It's <laughs> simply marvelous. Hello, sir. Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Yeah, I'm Austin. hanging around with you, aren't I? Come. Let's hurry. Stay close. All right, let's go. Oh, but I'm hitting the cop. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No. It's the Wild Vanderlyn West. People get killed all the time. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turns. Sorry, I was lurking, getting it's a can of drink ready for my stream. Better. Hey, no worries. Is it fall guys tonight, Cadigan? I don't know. Oh yeah, today's Friday. It is fall, guys. Like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I, I must he was admit, high as fuck. surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> well, anyway, yes, uh, some kind of Robin Hood Oedipus communist. Ooh, buffalo. I even tell him the truth. 
trail, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the There's a Pokemon stronger. reference there somewhere, but I'm not even going to get into it. Yep, Fall Guys Friday. Yeah, I was thinking that. These trees are quite foreboding, Nastas. Are, are you sure this is the right way? It's this way, mister. Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural yeah. explorer. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I hate to say this, but he's kind of right. Some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. It doesn't make me a tree hugger or anything, does it? Where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Yeah, Professor. Don't worry about it. Now that I kind of think about it, Fall Guys, I haven't touched that in a long time. I guess I just have to be in the right mood to kind of play it, you know? In Shining Pearl, are you going to have Kevin Dunn on your team? There's I'm going to have him there for a while, just for mm -hmm, laughing reasons. Hey! You know Kevin Dunn is a... You know what's going to happen. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> Dougal, don't steal my well, jokes. Anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks yeah, for the help. Thanks for the help, jackass. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Let's get moving. Don't shout. Yes, Come on, you can do it. Watch, oh, she's gonna fall. Watch. Or something's gonna happen. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Uh, he's a permanent member on my team in Legends Arceus, along with Snorlax that I call the Curse. <laughs> That's brilliant. The Curse. <laughs> you see, if like if it were up to me, like I'd probably like call my Snorlax fat bastard, but uh, yeah, Nintendo probably wouldn't let me. The Curse. That's brilliant. Yeah, because I think, like, the last time I saw you, like, uh, streaming Arceus, didn't you, uh, you caught a Munchlax, so I'd say your Munchlax must have evolved. Okay, here we go. Stas, where are you, bump? Oh, there you are. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Sorry, bad joke. There's a cave over here. Might go through or up the mountain. Well, lead the way. Nice looking place. Very, uh... Yes, look at this. A mine Ooh, shaft. a mine shaft. Oh, it did evolve. Oh, all right. 
Ooh, can I blow stuff up? This way. Okay, I never understand this about that guy. Why is it when he tells me something he has to shout? Yeah, that was good. Ah, it's just a scratch. You'll be fine. Let's shake it off. Oh Jesus! Explosives! Oh fuck! 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 Oh my God! Are you injured again? I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any I thought further. Native Americans were I'll supposed fine, to be tough. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? It's just, just a scratch. You'll be slow. fine. Go on. Don't be such a wuss. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Maybe you should shout when something happens. Yeah, I probably should. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Yeah, it looks for losers. Oh, Jesus! You go ahead. I just need to rest a while. All right, God, it's only a scratch. I'm just gonna have my repeater out just in case. I run, I run into uh, uh, people. Uh, did I just hear something? I heard something that I. Oh boy. I do not like the sounds of this. Get out my gun. Ah! Bear! Correction! It was a bear. Now it's a dead bear. <laughs> okay, I am skinning this. Get some good money out of that. Tough one, ain't you? Okay, time to skin this big bastard. FCG isn't this here, is he? Messy. He'd probably be so upset with me right now. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, we have to go this way. And climb up. And up again. And oh. Hey, Georgia, how you been? It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Like, uh, like the new setup. Twenty five hundred euros later, and I finally have a decent setup. <laughs> yeah, might as well skin animals while we're here. Oh, what the hell? Stop that! Oh, Jesus! Okay. Uh. Fucking cougars. It's a cougar and it isn't even not even at a bar. And it's not a weekend either. I'll take that. Thank you. At least we're getting some pelts out of this. Okay, we shall go. Yeah. Got COVID again, doing good though, and your setup looks awesome. Good to see you back streaming again. Oh, thank you, George. And damn that, that that sucks that you got COVID. Sorry to hear that. I hope I actually hope like you uh you get well soon. 
And this coming from someone who actually had COVID, believe me, it ain't fun. But hopefully, uh, the COVID that you have, George, is not too serious. Bart! Any of my Irish subscribers in the chat would get that reference. Ugh, oh, finally made it. After all these years. Really? Well, that happened. Whoops. Okay, neutralize the skip. Okay, we'll try that again. It's only like the second fuck up I've had. Should have done that at, at the beginning. But, oh well. Take the binoculars. Okay, let's search for Mr. Vanderland. It's basically the same as last time. Chesty coughing, feeling weak as hell. Ugh. I hear that. I pretty much had the same, but I was kind of hospitalized for a while. Uh, okay, where am I going? Where are you, Dutch? Oh, there you are. Ow! That hurt. Okay, why is it that's always like a villain's greatest weakness? And it, it happened the same to Bill at the very start of the game. You shoot him once, that doesn't technically mean he's dead. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Here you go, Mr. Marston. Man, get that shit out of my face. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I thought he was too I hurt to move. Plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Oh, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in game whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. And you say that in front of a native, you dumbass. Traumatized. He took to lying with you. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man. Agreed. Mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding the reason. Kill him. Then again. <laughs> Kill that son of a bitch. I would have. Okay. Right here. Excuse me, sir. Another McDougal mission. Hopefully, before this stream is over, we'll finish the game. <laughs> Hopefully, anyways. Ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use it, but you are such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Cl 
closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god. You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir. I shall mark my words. I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir. I have a way to say both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type. Come, sir. Where the devil is the start? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? Hello, Mr. Marston. My heart's beating like a drum. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, McDougal is probably like the reason why the old saying, uh, kids don't do drugs, was invented. Shut up! Fucking piss whistle. Alright, let's go. Sorry, sir! That was not my fault. That cop got in the way. Do not blame me for that. All right, I'm m -m 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 moving. Where horse? Hello, professor. Hello. Mr. Marston. Okay, now now let's try and get out of town without breaking the law. Which was totally not my fault. This is it. Years of research. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bear Claw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. He's definitely out to lunch, that McDougal. Well, the elevator doesn't go all the way to the top floor. 52 cards in the deck, he's only playing with 10. You know where I'm going with that. I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No, that's just no the cocaine kidding. talking. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. It's a bell! Oh. Oh. With pleasure. We killed the we killed two bears? Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 I want to skin it. I want to skin it. Give me a sec. You get money out of these. This is dirty. Oh, yeah, I forgot it. Yeah. Yay, hey, more meat to sell afterwards. I was skinning a bear, you idiot! See, you're not the only one who can yell. Sorry, chat. How do, sir? Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those the most generic thing you could ever say. Like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, I... Well, 
this isn't yes, the answer. Yes, it is. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up. We come in peace. What was he says, Boston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn voice. Uh, how about fuck this off? This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake. No! Shit, Dutch. Professor, get down now. Yeah, get down. You bastard! Martin, you have to get us out of here! Just keep your head down! Okay, where's this last guy? You won't leave me alone! Maybe. Here, I think I've had about enough of field work for today. Time to return home, sir. Right. Let's go now while we got the chance. You don't have to tell me twice. Let's get I kinda liked him. So what, we're just gonna leave his horse here? Alright, fair enough. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came My from. God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body is eight. Oh my god, they're back! Do something, Austin! Do go wait for me! That would have actually yeah. would have been cool if I actually like killed them all in one shot. But eh. What are you gonna do? Sometimes dead eye works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, I can safely say that, that was the worst experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Ah, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of oh, a yeah. syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore and get the you spirit. high you as a kite. On sleeping then. Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. I don't really think that's a healthy idea. Can we actually go any faster here? Okay, so rip Nastas anyway. Poor bastard. Kind of liked him. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Yeah, go rest up. You've had a uh, really bad day. Okay, another McDougal mission. What oh, do I have to uh, do this at a certain time? Come between 6 p.m. Ah, we haven't got that along the way. Ooh, actually. Hey, you. Newspaper boy. There was one there, would you please? Uh, I am not. Actually, I will read over this real quick. Okay. The Bloody Rebellion in Mexico claimed its first high-profile victim yesterday with the killing of a state governor. Colonel Allende, governor of New Paraiso, just south of the border below New Austin, was killed yesterday following a firefight with rebels. Observation reports suggest American mercenaries may have been fighting in both sides during the battle. Abraham Reyes, leader of the rebel band that is trying to overthrow General Sanchez, government to implode, blah, blah, blah. 
Mr. Reyes promised to bring greater political freedom. Yeah. Sure. Uh, have I done all the side missions? Some of them I have, and some of them I haven't. Usually, like, some of the side missions I just kind of do off-stream. Hello, oh, sir. Evening, mate. Evening, boy. Okay, is it almost six? Almost six. And then we can get... I think it's like the last McDougal mission. Then... Yeah. Okay, here we go. The prodigal son returns to Yale. Thank God. Professor. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. Do you know, do you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write not very books. Good ones. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. Hey, T Mad TV. How you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh great heavens above! Is that you? Oh, hi, Dutch. John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that's... That sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long Not my time fault. ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I would have. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your uh, ivory tower. good man Thank you. just Thank you. missing this Thank straight you. out We're of still here. Oh, Come on, nice. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. <laughs> Anyways. Now my dude's my day's going all right, T Matt. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. <laughs> Was there just a stranger in there? Sir. Put on some pants to cover that fat ass. Do something! He's going to kill me! One more move, and he's a dead man. And I literally did that with the sun in my eyes. Oh, oh Jesus! Jesus. Oh, Check out Dutch's snipers. Oh, 
Uh, it's a parody called Straight Out of Bayou. Oh, I actually want to see that now. Oh, Jesus. Stay down for a minute. What do these people want from me? Then shoot him. Okay, they actually are good shots, I'll admit. Got him. There's one more guy. Was a mistake. Oh, he's dead. You really ain't Never helping me, Dougal. The hell were you? I think that's most of it. Nice. The coast looks clear. Come on then, let's make a break for it. Didn't even need the sniper for that. And down the ladder we go. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. Ooh, look at him being all. Oh Jesus! That would have been embarrassing. Ah, come on, Blackwater ain't that bad. I've seen worse places. Try Valentine in Red Dead Online, and that's a hellhole. I'm taking the first train out of here. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It's a lot of West other. for you. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. This is insanity! Have I got ready? Stream was lagging for a second. Don't want that again. Hurry! There's more of them. Woo! That was close. Okay, man's in need of post. Here we are, finally. A one-way ticket to civilization, please. I thought you were already in civilization. Yeah, whatever. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well. Goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir. All right, later, later, Professor McDumbass. Yeah, I never liked that guy. All right. So now, I guess there's only one thing left to do. We're going to end this bullshit with Dutch once and for all. Yeah. We're actually making good time. Less than two hours in. Let's see if things go well. We we'll probably have this game done by tonight. Hey, Gibson. How the hell are you? Hope you're doing well, man. 
All right, back to black water we go. I would fast travel, but there was the point. You guys are enjoying the stream so far we're gonna be going on for a while longer or we're going on to this game is over so like i said at the start of the stream this might be a long one uh no no side missions we're going to black water and what i'm actually going to do is while this cutscene is going on I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So let that play out. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. And yeah, enjoy the cutscene. I'll be right back. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage hall and sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. And disagreeing with him. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? <laughs> Gee, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in Edo? Don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Woo! Made it back just in time. That's actually true to you, Matt. I agree with that. Gatling gun again. Love it. Now 
Keep your finger off that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Uh, how long do I plan on streaming? I've liked what I've seen so far. Oh, thank you, Paul, man. I appreciate that. I'm going to be streaming for at least another hour or two. Well, until the game's over, anyway. But I'm actually glad people do, like, do like the streams that I actually put up. I've always, like, said this, like, I'm not, like, the best talker. I'm not the biggest streamer out there. Hell, I'm not even the most entertaining, but when I hear compliments like that, it just motivates me to stream more, you know? We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you and call this it? isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The Army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw them in. No mistakes this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. Yeah, at least my stream element still works. Look, they brought the machine gun. Okay, just did it backwards for some reason. Now, ah, whatever, I'll fix it later. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. I just want to use the Gatling gun. That's all I want to do. Defend! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? Not I guess really. so. Look, I mean, I don't want this game to end, but... You know, it is what it is. Nothing good lasts forever. Hold your fire oh, come until on, I give let the me word. fire this thing. Please. Pretty please. There Yay! I got to shoot something. Oh, I am. Don't let him get too close. Oh, Jesus, this thing is hard to maneuver. No, oh, you drop your weapons. Sorry, guys. Rip chat for a sec while I deal with these people. Now, now what? So many horses are dying during this. I'm sorry. Not so. Kill those bastards! Oh, jeez! Try and kill yeah. them now! Look, they're running! Move out! Don't let them get away! Oh, great. Now we're moving. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I got a Gatling gun. What do you got? Nick. Right. Things a lot bumpier off the that road. That it is. It's going to be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods. Can't you hold this thing steady for them? I'm trying my best, sir. All right, there you go. Look out behind those rocks. We should have done this a long time oh, Jesus. ago. Okay, this is going to get a little crazy. Oh. Oh. Not fun, not fun, not fun. Oh, now. Keep them out there. Yeah, stop that. I think I'm going to die. Take them early. Stop shooting me. Please. Be your friend. Okay, I think that's all of them. 
hopefully. Okay, I get out of the way. That wagon's out of control. It's coming straight. Uh, no, anymore it's not. Jesus, how many of these guys are there? And I would just like to say, I got a minigun, you guys got nothing. Except that. And the truth will set you free. But guys, thank you everyone for the uh, the 20 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate that. Oh, Edgar, your hearse. Eh, oh, well. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his students. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot hmm. you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, men. Let's move out. God, Edgar Ross, what a prick. All right, let's go. I can't believe Vandalin has built himself a fortress in the mountains. He's crazy, but he certainly ain't stupid. You've already seen that place, right? McDougal told me you went up there with that Indian chap. I've seen it, all right. We'll be lucky to last five minutes with this many men. Governor Johns is going to be very pleased. Nate Johns? What's he got to do with any of this? Let's just say he has a vested interest in cleaning the filth. So why are you still here? I don't think our <laughs> old friend Dutch realizes what a great favor he has done us. Exciting all this hate among the natives. Like you needed an excuse. See, this is what happens when you fraternize the savages. How could you ever follow a man like that? How could you ever follow a Touché. man like Ross? Vanderlyn is a psychopath, a murderer, and a rapist. Ross don't seem too different. Dutch was a good man once. A far better man than you. So what made him this way? I don't know. Bastards like you. Seeing that things never change. Yeah, you know what? Let's I don't go. want to be talking to you guys anymore. I hope you're ready to finish this mess. Anything to get you sons of bitches off my back. There's always somebody watching, Mr. Marston. I thought you'd have gleaned that much by now. You think you're so clever, don't you? No, it's you who thought you were clever. You thought you could just walk away from your own life. Make no mistake. We have been watching. Don't speak to me. You're really an ungrateful slut, Marston. All we need now is Father Christmas. Come on. Instead of punishing you for your crime, we are giving you a chance to kill the men. Yeah, I'm just going to move up here. I don't want to talk to that prick anymore. So you're the one who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. Well, this is suicide, if you ask me. My scouts have seen that fort of his. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. Yeah, I like this guy. He sees Ed Garros for what he is. They said you was in a gang with this Dutch Vanderlyn. I was once. A long time ago. Don't seem like the kind of fella you want to run with. Unless I completely misjudge your character, of course. When he turned crazy, I left. At least I tried to leave. Till those suits back there came and knocking. Threatened to kill my wife and son if I didn't go after him. Strange times we live in, partner. Strange Indeed. times. It's a funny business. Army, government men, criminals. With all due respect. You're telling me. Too many hands on the tiller, if you ask me. This is how mistakes happen. My boys don't know who's giving the orders no more. Take it from me, mister. Can we get up there? 
It ain't gonna matter. It'll be every man for himself. Pretty much. But yeah, like I was gonna say, especially with everything that's going on today. But, you know, this is a stream. We're gonna have some fun and we're not gonna even think about that. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to talk to him. I'm just going to ride up there by myself. Try and keep up, you lazy pricks. So I guess this is it. I'm going to settle this thing with Dutch once and for all. I kind of really like Dutch, so this is going to be uh, kind of difficult. Especially with this fort he's got. Jesus. This is going to be one hell of a gunfight, I'll tell you that, folks. Okay, so we're almost there. Here we go. General just like didn't move, he didn't flinch. That's brilliant. Forward, move in. It's time to kill these motherless bastards. I got my head power pistol out. I've had enough of you, fool. Hold it steady. Let's move up. All right, let's go. Get down, get down, get down. Jesus, that was close. I'm gonna die yet. Hey, Snake, how you doing, man? Surrender now. Hope you're doing well. You made it just in time. Moving forward. I need cover. I'm about to die. I'll just stay back real quick. Heal up. Nice work, man. Good job. You're just about dead. Let's go, man. Yes, sir. Oh, more income. Kindly, move yourself Kindly fuck off. How's that? I hope you're doing well, Snake. Um, how did the Kyo go with Hammond? Oh, Jesus. Reloading, no fair. I know the Gatling gun's there, I'm not going to use it for once. Oh, no. Come on, oh, I wanted that. Okay, so far so good. We're clearing them out. Meet the army captain near the gate. Right 
right, Marston. We'll take two men. I had my own stream, me and Hamster did a very fortunate Kyle, no and we did the uh, contract as well. It went enough for five. me to finally get a hanger on Xbox One. Nice. This is it, man. Let's get that gate down. Keep them covered now, Marston. Up top! Cover them! Get down. This is gonna be one nasty. For the love of God! What are you doing? Stop that, please. You can go. Okay, so far so good. Everyone, get back! Where is this? Okay, he just magically spawned back there. Okay, that makes sense. I gotta face Dutch alone. All right, Dutch. Looks like it's me. You just took the words right out of my mouth. You should have stayed at home. And you shouldn't have gone nuts. Over. You better follow me. Look behind you, coward. I'm coming for you. Quiet. Okay, I have a plan. Let's see if this works. Nice. Works every time. Come on, Dutch. Don't make this hard. You'll never take me alive, John. Oh, can't go that way. Come on, Dutch. Don't make this difficult. It's over. It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. Oh, uh, okay. I'll get you a chat in a sec, guys. Just need to focus here. Okay, upstairs. Dutch, coming for you. Coming for you, boy. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Come back, Dutch. Dude, but Dutch has got a Dutch has got a like point. You. Okay, up the ladder. Appreciate you all being here for this. Give my scope field back. Oh god, I'm actually literally running low on ammo here. But I think we should have enough. Dutch. Come on. You can't erase the past, John. Killing me, it won't make it go away. That's where you're wrong. Mm. Come on, Dutch. There he is. John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. 
They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed. Yeah. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Hmm. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, <laughs> I'm only joking here for it. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, You've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. That's it? Rip Dutch, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna shut up while this song is on. And again, I'm gonna get copyright claim, but I don't care. And I know the only compass that I need is the one is back to you. The burning blisters on my feet will call to hold me as I'm close to fall. Away from the hope of your arms, I stray off the radar and into harm's way. And now I know the only compass that I need oh, is the one. Back to you. Oh, damn, that song is awesome. And now you can see why I'm just such a big fan of westerns. Stuff like that, love it. And probably knowing me, I'm probably going the wrong way, but I don't care. Wonder what Dutch's plan was? I guess we'll never know. Coaxing letters from the pen, but words just sit like empty scribbles. Such empty caffeinated riddles. That I need is the one leads back to you. I kind of prefer Red Dead One's soundtrack over two, even and though I two has some good stuff. Yeah, that's actually true. Like, I mean, there are songs in Red Dead Two that I really like, do love, and but the soundtrack to Red Dead One's just <laughs> goddamn is beautiful. And we're home.
Finally. After so long, we're finally home. Honey, I'm home. Come on. Come on, at least one of us has said that at least once or twice in our lives. Okay, here should be horse. Now let's go see the wife and son. I know John's missed him, but uh, yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. The outlaws return. Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. That was the boy. Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. Jack. Go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we gotta go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learn to cook. <laughs> yes. Didn't I say, rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. I guess we're back with the family. Well, after all the bullshit that John has gone through, he finally got some. I think he deserves it after all the shit he's gone through. Oh, she's going back for another for seconds. Nope, she ain't having it. She's a little quieter next time. Let the woman sleep. All right. So this is. The home. 
That's pretty good. Jack, where are you? Hello, Hello sir. All right. All right. Come on, boy. You get moved. Yeah. Let's go. I met him while I was away. The McFarlands are good people. We need folks we can trust right now. Met them how? I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? You sure got a Careful. lot of questions. I, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? <laughs> Morning drip? Good God, boy, no. Where do you learn these things? Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. So now we're back with Abigail and Jack. Honestly, they're not two of my favorite Red Dead characters, but... Hey, man. Paul! What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe to you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. I'd rather Look you out. chose an honest profession. Jack, stop bumping into me. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. Alright, we're almost there. So I believe we're coming towards the final stretch of the game. Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. That's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Dead. Where are they now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a, a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance True. of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. There's the ranch. Come on. Let's see if we can find Ah, Drew McFarlane. Farm. Like this guy. Let's go up, go up. Come on, easy up now. John Marston. There's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. I bet she would. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. See you, Drew. Good luck. Yeah. Good catching up with you. Now, let's go see the lovely Bonnie, shall we? All right, Jack. You're going to have an important job. I want you to lead the herd while I drive them from the back. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Hey, Bonnie. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walked among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. I'm a real sim for Bonnie. Of course you are, Snake. Okay, cattle herding again. This is one part of the game I have not missed. Come on, come on, come on! All right, come on, you four legged dumbasses. Jack, keep them headed towards the river. 
Come on, you stupid cow. Move it. Get up there with the rest of Let's go. Sadie Adler. Yeah, I, I can kind of understand, like, a lot of people, um, like Sadie. Like, I think it's just, like, there's definite similarities between Sadie and Bonnie. Like, I mean, they both, like, look alike. But with Sadie, Sadie was definitely more tragic. Like, I mean, like, well, that would be going into... Good luck, John. Come see you, Drew. See you sometime. So, what I'll explain after this. Last I heard, you were headed for some exotic escapade in Mexico. It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Stay together. I'll do up the conversation, Jack. Come on. What's wrong with you? Yeah, Kari, Bonnie is cool. She so, is. is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, uh, the arrogance of youth. He gets a little fur on his lip, and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. But anyway, yeah, like, you could definitely, like, see the similarities between... How's your wife? Sadie She's and Bonnie. Well, but the difference yeah, is, like, Sadie was more... Yet. Her yeah. character, like, was I'm a lot more tragic. Like, she again. lost her husband. It's she lost her home. She basically, like, lost everything. Um, cows. Cows. That way, please. Thank you very much. I know cows are stupid. Easy. Come on. Come on, Bessie. Get over there with the rest of them. Come on. That up, girl. How's the ranch? Come on, slow coaches. Like you got him under no, we control. don't. They're cows. Cows are stupid. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for everything. All right, I'll call you tomorrow. All right, Jack. Let's get him through. Run, you stupid animals. Herding cows, not easy. Funny shares, same. Oh, that's actually true, Ikari. Like Annie Stokes from Red Dead Revolver. That's actually a very good point. I guess they're all pretty much similar. Or maybe Rockstar just has a hard on for blondes. You're doing a good job, son. Just lead him straight up the hill towards home. Will do, Bob. All right. So far, so good. Fifteen out of fifteen. Wait. Slow hey, Betsy, come on. Move your fat ass. I'd say that probably after this mission, I'm going to take a quick five-minute break. Just to, you know, kind of stretch the legs a bit. And uh, probably just grab, uh, like, a quick snack real quick. But I do appreciate everyone being here. Keep moving. Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. Yeah, this definitely don't look right. Stay back, son! Oh. Now what are you gonna do? Uh, do not need to shoot the horse. Oh my god, there's another guy up here. They're gonna take our cash! No, they're not. I think that's all of them. Jack! Wait there, I'm coming! Quick tactical work. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that you there, sir. Right? Ah, don't worry no, about it, man. It's you? all good. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared. People who say that they aren't Sorry, scared generally that, are. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. All right, let's round up the stragglers and get moving. Let's see. What are you doing over here? Oi! Let's go. Back up there with the rest of them. Go on. Go on, you stupid horse. Come on. Up there with the rest of them. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where Don't I'm Give going. me lip, boy. Don't give me cheek.
Oh, now I see what you said, Paul. I don't worry about it. I've heard worse. And I don't have to because I'm happily married. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get these cows home. Move on! Move on! Yeah! Okay, 15 out of 15. Pretty good. Abigail, we're home! We got cows. They're almost as bullheaded as you. All right. Now lead them into the pen. Move. Come on. Come on. Into the pen, you fat bricks. Move it. All right. Whoa. In you go. Whoa. Welcome to your new home. Keep it moving. Nice work, son. We made it. Did oh, real boy. good out there. Go on. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Nice. Easy. Hey, that's a fine herd we got ourselves. So we're ranchers We've now? We've always been ranchers. Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. Yay. We did it. Hey, I got a hundred bucks for that. I'll take it. So, okay, like I said, I'm going to take a quick five minute break, but appreciate you all being here. And if you're enjoying the stream, drop a like and I'll be back in about five minutes.
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. But we are ready to continue. Well, wrap this up, I should say. Okay, we'll go see Abigail first. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try yeah. to be a good wife. And you have been. <laughs> Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running in those gang, though. <laughs> That way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry him. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> all right, all right. Go on. Scat. Shh. Don't tell me what to do, woman. Uh, fine. Okay, let's get rid of some pesky birds. Birds. Reload the gun. You know what? I'm switching guns. Feeder. a lot of crows. Winchester do anything? Yes. Okay, that's all. Damn crows. Pain in my ass. But actually, crows are a pain in the ass in general. Come on, get out of here. Finally. Now about that yeah, I wouldn't go there, John. I might as well do these in order, so let's go back to Abigail again. Or, or as I like to call her, a nag. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something yeah, she's better looking than you. Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks, stop. Emergency, stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. And she saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're going to have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? 
Well, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. I mean, if it was up to me, I would have picked uh, Bonnie over Wait. Abigail, but that's just me. Maybe I should meet this McFarland. Why are you jealous? Woman. What are you waiting for? We better hurry. Okay, go to the general store, McFarland's ranch, before the I time runs out. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you wanted to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off comporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? <laughs> Most people what? probably would. Normal like me? No. Normal as in two eyes. Mouth. No. Not to mention she's got a nice ass. Besides, what? I'm allowed to say it. You. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole... First thing to do is stop digging. Another pearl of wisdom for John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous. Oh, so shit. Curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. How did she save your life anyway? Found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there were really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but... Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Hmm. Where'd they take you? Who? Those government bastards. Where'd they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage uh -huh. proposal. Very fun. No, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. Well, at least we made it before the time ran out. You came. Thank you so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? If you're going to start yammering about women's work, nope. John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. Hi, Bonnie. I'm gonna miss you. Any chance we could do a wife trade? Oh. Ma'am. 
Oh, no, 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 funny. No. What? Amos. What I... Wait a minute. I don't understand. Amos of all people? Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to rant about it. She's pretty. She's normal. Like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her. And I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You've clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. Come on. That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The life of pride forgiven? We're back together, ain't we? Until they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. Oh, shit. But you're better than they are, than they were. Don't stop. I don't want to leave Jack by himself Ah, he'll be long. fine. Maybe we can't change, but we got to try for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times, it's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's going to be all right. It's going to take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Gus? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Um, okay, and in case some people uh, probably wonder in the chat, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of Jack. I don't know, like, I just never liked him as a character. Like, as a kid in Red Dead 2, he was alright, but in this, he's just... Ugh. Can't wait. Mm. All right. Is that it for Abigail now? All right. Let's go visit old. He's not here right now. Please come back later. God damn it. All right. Might as well go in and save real quick. Maybe they'll come back at some point. Uncle. Is he bum? Okay, so we are like three hours into the stream right now. Hopefully I won't have any slip-ups like last time. That's the only thing that's kind of like worrying me right now. But everything still looks green, so thankfully for that. Alright, there you are. Start this uncle mission. Or as we like to call him, Mr. Lumbago. Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up! There, I'm up. Thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. 
You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard, nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Yeah. Make us have use for the old coot. Come on, Uncle. Sometime today. Good. Good man. Now we got a herd more cattle. Great. All right. You stay front. All right. Herding more cattle. Let's move here, my four legged friends. All right. Everybody out. Let's keep them moving now. Easy. Let's go. Come on, I really hope they don't put missions like this in Red Dead Online. It's bad enough you have to do it in single player, but try and do this online, Jesus. Ish would be kind of annoying. Pasture. I actually never understood what that meant. Pasture. If anyone in chat could tell me, it would actually be a good help. No, 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 no. Come on. That way. Move on. Move on. On your stupid cows. Not that way, you moron. Even move. Go on. Up there with the rest of them. Shut up, Uncle. Oh, God damn it! Of course they're stampeding. Move in front of the herd, slow them down. Oh, Jesus. Okay, snake, thanks. Okay. I think we're safe. Thank you. I thought we were done for. Just helping out. Now you take care. See, that's our good deed done. Now let's head back to Uncle. Go. Old habits die hard, I see. Shut up. Uncle. You'll never learn. Shut it, old man. Come on. Get this herd moving again. Went in there with the rest of them. I think that's all of them. Get going. Come on. Hey, we got 15 out of 15, so that's pretty good. Jeez. Where? Let's go. Back from dropping Riley off hey. at the hair salon. All right, welcome back, GB. Hope uh, Riley enjoys our time at the hair Move. salon. Come on. But he knows I've dropped my wife off there enough times. And funny enough, it's a hair salon where I first met her. But that's another story for another time. Where's this other cow? Oi! Come on! Come on there with the rest of them. Yeah, come on. Yeah, but so far we have... Um, Dutch is no longer with us. Rip Dutch. And now we are back home with... Uh, Abigail and our son. 
Come on, you dumb animals. Yeah, you as well. It's almost like one thing I hate is hurting cattle. Because they never go in the one direction you want them to. I think we're almost there. So I'll be glad when this mission's over, I'll tell you that. Yay. Get my damn camera. Not my camera, but my Look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh. Oh, you were one today. easy bastard, I swear. Say, uncle's too lazy to breathe on his own. Don't fuck me off, you stupid horse. Come on. Nice to have all that ugly business behind you, true. Now we can live a normal life by herding cattle and shooting crows when they go after your corn supply. It's great. I love farm life or rancher life. It's fucking great. Oh, it's this guy again. Whoa, whoa. Right. You know what? I've had enough of your shit, boy. The elusive Mr. Oh, it's this guy again. Hey, there's a beautiful spot. Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico. I know you're from back out west. Hell, I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. Definitely a spirit. Or a ghost from John's past. Oh, great. Another uncle mission. What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. I really don't think John should be like Are you be that mean up, to Uncle. Kid? Like, I mean, he's got lumbago. It's very serious. And yes, that joke will never die. All right, let's get after. Well, either way, old man. Why you gotta act so figgity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses. Hey, all people day? do that. Well, God forbid I do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 <laughs> years. Well, he's not wrong. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, is it? Don't let go. That's it. Oh, I hate doing this. There you go. Oh Jesus! Show it in that Oh god damn it. That's it. I'm in trouble here. No you're not, no you're not, no you're not, we're fine. Almost 
Come on, you damn horse. Of course it is. It is a wild horse after all. Oh, Jesus. Got him. Shut up, Tell me what to do. Exactly. I agree. Yeah, in other words, I end up doing all the work and you take all the credit. Wouldn't be uncle otherwise. Come on. All these horses yeah. rode really fast. Pretty far, I should say. Come here! Okay. Where's my lasso? Fair when has Uncle ever been helpful? You got it. Oh my you God. Now, Jesus. I can only imagine what this is trying trying to do. This is like in real life. Oh Jesus! Calm it down. Uncle, you are Come not on, helping. Calm down. Don't fall off. I got you. Oh, it'd be embarrassing if I fell off, now, wouldn't it? Come on, calm down, Come calm on. down. Come on, we can be friends. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Hey, Quiet, old man. Ugh, we gotta go get another yeah. one. I'm not scared of him. Okay, I think we need to lasso one more. Oh, you're a beauty. Come here, you. I like the look of you. Ooh, beautiful horse. Ooh, this thing's a beauty. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Come on. Calm down, boy. You're okay. Can we just be friends? Shut up, Uncle. We're not helping. Oh, God. I'm oh, God. I need to fell off there. Come on. Calm down, just stupid force. Got him. Please say that's it. Oh, that's thank God. Now. Let's get him back to the ranch. Yeah, I think that's a, enough of that. That weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask. You? What the hell do you know about any of this? I was a rancher myself when? back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe it. And secondly, if you was... Why have you been hiding all these? Hey, years? Red, how you doing, man? Act like I never do anything. Hope you're doing I well, man. Plenty. You're asleep half the day. The other half, you're so drunk you couldn't hit the ground with your hat in three throws. That's actually true. Come on. Uncle, the definition of a lazy bastard. All right. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude. Yeah, here's your gratitude. Not a bad day's work. Yeah, but I did all the work. All you just did was bark orders. Mister? Yeah, you got money out of that. So that's always a plus. New items now available. Now let's go see our dear boy Jack. John Marston and Son.
What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. But trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. <laughs> so, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny he was. Grab your things. Okay, why would he just not put the book into a satchel or something? I don't know, that makes no sense. But whatever. Come on, Jack. When you're ready. Come on, let's go! Okay, follow the follow your dog Rufus. <laughs> when he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patient. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, True. doesn't it? Elk don't stand still, son. I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you. But I'm gonna try and make up for that. Ah, uh, father and son bonding time. God, I miss those days. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee! I see your sarcasm, Jack. Are you sure you're alright? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid hey. anymore. Look! Picked up a scent. Come on. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. Oh, God, Jack, stop whining. Come on. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves. She'd hunt goats with them and everything. That sounds like a tall yarn to me. Look, I see one. Speak her rifle out. Oh, come back here. Come back here, Elk. Where's that laptop you promised me? Whoa. Right if you're in the chat, Whoa. you'll get that reference. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. You just gotta wait for the right shot, not rush Ooh, it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hey, watch it. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. All right, let's see if we can find some more. You can do it, Rufus. Go. All right. And I actually, you like, still do shot, have Jack? those, um, course, bear pelts I can sell as well. I've got a decent Wait bit of money out of that. Don't snatch I know, I know. I ah, you get the reference, you Snake. So. Alright, when he finds him, you take the lead. Yeah, that guy. Alright, Jack. The Snake kills yours. That's it. Don't let me Good down. Boy. Come on, boy. Keep going, boy. Whoa there. Look, they're over there. Stay calm. Let's go. All right, there they are. All right, we got this. Got it. Now 
Damn it, Jack, get out of the way. You can do this. your turn. All right, Jack. Give it a shot. You can do it, boy. Whoa. Come on, Jack. You can do it. <laughs> At least I don't promise stuff I cannot produce. I ordered a new PC so I can hand one over to Fire Dragon King 15. Oh, nice, man. Oh, don't be so wincy about it. Just do it. Nice work, son. You're a quick yeah, learner. Cool. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading come post because man's in need of Let me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> come on! Did you see me? You did good, son. <laughs> Can't we wait, shoot not, some more? Not. Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? There's another one back there, but yeah, it's probably just to spawn by now. Come on. Oh, what is rat on? And to need a post. Easy. God damn it. I appreciate y'all still being here. We'll probably go on probably maybe another hour. But it'll probably take another hour to wrap this game up. But like I said, this stream is not going to end until I finish the game. Which shouldn't be too far off. Alright, here we are. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Howdy, sir. Oh. Howdy, mister. Options to suit any pocket. I hope you enjoy a smooth so ride. That, that. That. Every day, more new people get off the train. They just keep coming. Yeah, you're all set. We. No idea. Eagle feathers. Get a good price for them. Elk skin. To Thank you. Grizzly meat. We got 24 bucks for that. 36. Okay. Decent Glad bit of money we got out of that. Did you hear about Oscar? All done. Let's head home. Okay. I am on my horse. Uh, Jack, what are you doing? I do like Rockstar did not end the game of John's Homecoming, but they included this as well. Yeah. All right, come on, Jack. Let's go home. How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple of days. And what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. Yeah, life ain't, ain't fair. fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. I'll be rich one day, sure. then you'll see. I sure hope so. And you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. We ain't old. Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. So, you enjoy your first hunting trip? It was great, Paul. Herding cows, hunting elk. Growing up, yeah. proud of you. I always told you I wanted to help. You know, you and me, if we work hard, we can make something of this farm. Yeah. I'd like that. And thank you for looking after your mother. She said you were very brave. I tried to be strong, like you told me. But Ma, uh, she can look after herself. Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. 
What is it? Night. Alright. So can we do another Jack mission now? Maybe. Uh, we have to come back. Alright, so, quick save. I, as far as I know, there isn't that many uh, missions left. Open the, open the container, John. That a boy. Another one. I would say sorry, but I'm not. Uh, oh God damn it! Right back in and save. I ain't waiting no damn another few hours. Now oh, that should advance time. Damn, I gotta say, this actually is a nice house. Jack, what the hell are you doing, boy? What are you doing? You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. No show me and you'll just, just run off again or something. Better I teach myself. I hate this kid, I swear. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. I'm sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. All right, mount the old horse. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Yeah. All right, go on, Rufus. Show me where those wolves are. God, Jack, shut up. It's what fathers do. Just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Is it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. I'm Better sorry, be. Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I, I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but seems they can't. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start. Hey, Sinister, finished. how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Died of what? Yeah. Why do you want to know? Come on. He's picked up a scent. Look out! Jack, I swear Follow to me. God. When it comes to, like, riding horses, you're terrible. Tom, is Uncle really your uncle? No. At least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father, though. Well, why do you call him Uncle then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. Yeah! Go find him, Rufus. Okay. Come on, Rufus. Let's go. Find us a wolf, boy! 
There they are. Good boy, Rufus. Easy. Come on. What do I have to die? Watch yourself now, son. It's my turn on it. Yeah. Oh. You can't be nice. tired already. Is that it? Good work, son. Go on now, Rufus. That's not. Find the rest of them. Don't give up now. Let's right, come on, Rufus. Moving. And the others. I know people are probably like, but the pelts, UG, the pelts. I know, I know. Good, Tom. That ain't all the pack. There's got to be more around here. This is much more fun than hunting elk. It's always more fun killing something you don't like. Tom, oh, it's the best stuff. Hey. It's good to see you, though, Sinister. Okay, where is this dog taking me? Go get him, boy. Whoa, there. What do you smell, boy? Whoa. Blow it up now. Tanner's Ranch. Reach. I was about to say Tanner's Ranch. Why did I, what was I about to say that? Where are they, Rufus? Come on, Rufus. Find those wolves. That was weird. So oh, what happened there? Rufus just like magically appeared in front of me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, found him. Head home. Whoa. How many did we kill? They won't be after our camp for a while. That was some good shooting, son. So can I go out no. myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready for that yet. One step at a time. Ah, uh, please, Pa. We'll go out again soon. Catch something nice for your ma to cook. I reckon I could kill a bear, no problem. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first, you hear? Yes, sir, I hear you. Damn well better. Oh, can I ask you something? Of course! Were you a murderer? What? That place where they I had hamster put in the air of our pro times when we loaded Baby, back into the Ah. Oh, all right. my life believing there's a difference between I hope you and uh, Hammond had fun. No! And I guess I've been both. That's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. Sometimes it ain't pretty, and in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who yeah. attacked our cattle? Exactly. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. Rules were different, but that's over now. You know, we could be out. No, there's only one outlaw here, and that's the guy who's streaming. All we did was kill a few wolves. Well, that sounded so cringe to me. Okay, almost home. Made it home safe and sound. Yay! Whoa, whoa. Woo. 
Yeah, we had fun. I've never done the drain missions that fast. Side. We also had the we'll elite challenge on the Sakaio Perico. That's why you're the expert when it comes to Kyle Perico, Snake. Yeah. Woo. Okay, on to the next mission. Oh, please don't make me save again. Come back at like 2 p.m. today. Ugh. More waiting. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let that play out and I'm going to take, promise, the final intermission of the stream because I need to go to the bathroom. Too much caffeine, but whatever. So, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we're back. Sinister, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times. I am not stealing GB's gimmick. You know that guy's nickname? Two Guns Burns? That guy would have me whacked. 
Either that or he cut my thumbs off. Now am I going to stream then? Alright, let's get on with this. Nobody me, GB knows people. That's why I'm never seeing his gimmick. John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tales of hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynching. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Hey, if we kind of lose Jack, it's not exactly, you know, tragic. Just saying. All right, come on, Rufus. Let's go find the kid. Let's go. Now you'll probably have to say goodbye to your ponytail. Oi! Leave my ponytail alone! I don't care if you give me cement shoes. I don't care if we break my thumbs. I don't care if we break my legs, but the ponytail? <laughs> thank you. It's my only redeeming quality. Where is he, Rufus? Anyways, enough joking about. Let's go find the kid. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Come on, Rufus. What you got, boy? Can you smell something? Come on, wait. Yeah. Go find him. I need to move my house up. Alright, there we go. Find Jack, Rufus. He's going to be all the way at the top of the mountain, isn't he? It would be so much easier just to, like, go all the way up there Come just to on, try boy. and find it. But no, Where we got to follow the dog. And I don't necessarily... Excuse me. I don't necessarily hate dogs. I love dogs. Save Jack from Where's fat Jack? and damn straight. Where is he? Well, to be fair, GB, it's not the first bear I've killed in this stream. And this will be no exception. The only pity is he's not here to witness it. You can we probably know an FCG is probably asleep by now due to time difference. Are you up here, Jack? Jack! Where are you? Come on, come on! Come on, Rufus. Find Jack. Yeah, he's up here somewhere. that boy oh there you are oh, help me I'm hurt Jack stay down yeah, come on come get it don't move keep your head down Steal my horse, will ya? Yeah. What the By the way, I noticed there's a mission return on the agency no, security missions if you do them back to back. Break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Damn it, boy, what were you thinking? Ah, he's okay. I think the only thing that... Yeah. Now hold, hold tight. On. Are you all right? You're not hey, leaving here, are you? Yeah. I so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What I tell you about I don't really bother with the yourself. agency missions, neither do I. <laughs> oh, Lord. Listen, 
Why are we stopping? So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to By what? Getting myself. yourself killed? Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books. That I'm not a real man. I never said that. I don't think I can ride myself, nah. sir. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away. Uh, Where are you going? On the horse, Jack. Son, I ain't going anywhere. And believe me. Come on, Paul. Are you I'll keep real quiet, I promise. Jack, get on the horse. Jack, on the horse. Come on. <sighs> what are you doing? Okay, I've had enough. Fuck this. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry. That is what kids will do to you. I am gonna do something really stupid. Try this on! Come on, I wanna kill myself. I'm gonna have to restart the mission, so. Okay, apparently, the game won't let me. So, I did all that for nothing. I am not restarting, do not care. If I have to fail the mission over and over, I don't care. At least some of you are getting entertainment out of this. What's your brother gonna say? Famous last words. I know, right? John, could you not like, kill yourself, please? That'd be great. God damn it. This isn't exactly going very well. Die, please. Apparently not. I think I kind of like really fucked up here. Go for a swim. Good idea. That's actually a good idea, GB. I never thought of that. All right, so we'll go back up and try this again. Or maybe if I actually like ride away, that might help me fail the mission. Or something I really want to do. Keep going, Paul. I want to get home. Please, can we just go home? Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. Paul, don't leave me here. I'm not a little kid anymore. We'll yeah, we're just going to find the nearest watering Bad hole thing. and drown. There's nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you had. Where you going, yeah, I'll probably just like right away. Now nah, you're on your own, kid. Make your own way home. All right, let's find some water. Come on. And once again, the bears mess me up. There you go. Now we can do that again. Only this time, we are not skid. We are not skidding that pelt. Why are you no, getting off die. the horse, you stupid kid? Thank you. Come on. Sorry about that, folks. Let's go. Easy. Okay, back to our regu regularly scheduled gameplay here, folks. Understand why you wouldn't get back on the horse. Probably just another fun Whoa. feature I have in this game. Yo. Oh boy, when you get home, you're gonna get your ass what? Oh wait, isn't that frowned upon now? That you can't like physically punish your kids. Not that I would uh, recommend it, but I don't know. For once, it was not FCG. I'm going to blame him anyway. 
Because literally, like, I went and skinned a bear and that bullshit happened. So, yeah, I have every right to blame him. OBS there. So far, everything looks good. Come on. Come on, easy up there. Come on. But I gotta say, this has actually been a really, really good stream. And we are almost four hours in. So probably in the next... 30 minutes or so, this game should be over. Hopefully, anyways. And right around now, it is just gone 9 p.m. my time. But, I made a promise that I am. This whole stream, I'm basically just gonna end this game. So I don't care if it's like 12 p.m. at night. I am going to finish this. Sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Well, this is it. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Uh, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. The day John Marston stops shooting. I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know, they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration. One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. Look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. For the love of God! Here we go. Let's get that gun red. Oh, oh fuck. Stay away from my family! God damn it. You gotta pay down. What the fuck are they shooting me with? I did what 
I knew this wouldn't last forever. Okay, get down. I'm taking you all down with me. Don't try to be something you're not. Shit, I don't have enough ammo for that. What the hell did you just shoot me with? Oh boy. Out here. I knew they'd come after us at some point. Guess nothing good lasts forever. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Oh, here they come. I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Where did they get closer? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. Government truck! Oh shit, they got uncle. Should have got a pardon from the governor. He actually really should have. Now that I kind of think about it, that actually like would have made sense. God above, there's tons of them. This is nuts. I see you over there. Whoa! Okay, get down. Let me take care of that guy in the back. And you. I won't let you take him again. Got him. Well, I guess that's that. Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <laughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my God! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! Damn. Rest in peace, Uncle. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Oh, God damn it. Shit. 
Hey, that's actually the first death in the entire stream, so that's not bad. That is not bad at all. We're gonna head for the barn! Oh, I'm on the hill! I see him! Get behind something! Actually, can I head that way? On this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worrying about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Now go. Get! <laughs> I'm going down fighting. Jesus. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Exactly, GB. Rip John. For the first time, like, I actually saw that, I was genuinely pissed off. Like, after all that, after everything, like, John did for them, and they still killed him at the very end. 
And I know some people are going to say, like, oh, tying up a loose end or whatever the fuck, but... Still. Like, I'm not even going to talk during this bit. I'm just going to... I'm going to let it play out. Jesus. I have like seen that so many times, but it's definitely a heart wrencher. Shit. No, we're not going to do that right now. So now, Jack's all grown up now. And. Jesus, that's just so fucked up. Like, I mean, I know this is a 10-year-old game, but still, Jesus. No person, like, deserves to be gunned down like that. Edgar shouldn't be too proud of himself. A lot of soldiers died to kill one man exactly. But right. This is only one thing left to do. We're gonna find that rat bastard. And I believe we have to go to Blackwater for that. And I do appreciate it, everyone that's still here. Come on, fast. Jeez, that was actually like really tough to watch. Now that I kind of think about it, and I know this is kind of going into, like, spoiler territory, but basically with all the members of the Vanderlyn gang, literally Jack's the only one left. Like, I know some people are going to say, like, what about uh, Charles and Sadie? In this game, they're never even mentioned. So they either could be dead or still alive. Uh... Karen? I think she's like the biggest mystery. Because she just like kind of just disappeared. So now we're playing as Jack now. So I believe we have to go here. Okay, where do we find this? Should be here somewhere. Be, ah, there it is. So literally, this is the final mission in the game. 
We're gonna find Edgar Ross and we're gonna make that prick pay. I think it's already fair, don't you think? Here we are. You need help? Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? Charles I is allegedly in Canada Edgar and Ross. City in South America. No. Yeah, I know, but I often like wonder now that I kind of think about it. That maybe I think he went they send like federal agents to like track Charles and Sadie down. Maybe I don't know. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. Thank you for the information, Mister. Go and find it, Ross's wife near Lake Don Julio. Come on, horse. Come on. Lake Don Julio. I'm not gonna like ride all the way there. Like the first chance I get, I'm gonna get a reasonable fast travel spot and move my way there. But yeah, like, I might as well like to say this now, right, right before the ending. This has been so much fun to go through again. Like I've said it, Red Dead 1 in my top five favorite games of all time. And to everybody like that has been here throughout the entire series, I genuinely thank you all for that. And probably after this, we'll be starting our walkthrough on Pokemon Shining Pearls, so... I know if people are interested in that, you're more than welcome to stop by. Uh, we'll just fast travel there. Canada and South America will be out of their jurisdiction. They were also less infamous members of the Vanderman gang, unlike John, Dutch John, Javier, and Williams. Yeah, that's actually a fair point. That's actually, yeah, I actually do kind of agree with that. So maybe it was just like they were just going after like the main members of the Vanderling gang. Hello, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him oh, now. Really? Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. Dangerous, huh? I you sure will, met me yet. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. <sighs> Good to say this to you, love, but you're probably never going to see your husband again. My horse so far away. You made me want to continue my playthrough of this game, UG. Really, Snake? That's actually like that's really cool. That is because like of me that you want to like continue this game. That's pretty cool. I love hearing stuff Let's like go. that. Let's go. No, I don't care. Just want to get this over with. I got a bullet with Edgar Ross's name on it. Travel to waypoint. Whew, nearly four and a half hours in. This has been a really good stream, ladies and gents.
And I appreciate everyone that's still here. Mm -hmm, sir. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. I wish I'd know him. He's my brother. He's gone down river. Duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. If you want Jack to be dishonorable, you can also kill Edgar's on, wife son. and brother. I mean, I could, but Edgar Ross is my target. But now that you mention it. Casualty of war. Oh well. Easy come, easy go, huh? But I'm probably like not gonna talk like after this. Once this, uh, once this whole thing is over, I'm probably just gonna let the, uh, the credits, like, roll. But thank you guys, like, so much for being here. It generally means a lot. Really do appreciate everyone being here. I'm gonna let this play out. I might say a few things at the end, but, uh, again, guys, it's been Excuse a pleasure. Me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you <laughs> little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Rest in peace, Edgar. Fuck that. What you doing with the hair salon? All right, GB. No worries. This is for Dutch, Bill, Javier, everyone else, John. This is for everybody. Rest in peace, you prick. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Generally appreciate you all being here. Really does mean a lot. Thank you all so much for hanging out during this whole playthrough. And that's it. My first Let's Play on the channel done. But thank you guys so much for being here. Really does mean a lot. And uh, I'll let the credits play. And I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.
Not gonna take what they've got to give.